you've spoken about that the government has given certain uh, tax moratoriums and all uh, to your industry, uh, to the travel industry, and try to. Is that enough? It's never enough. Yes, <laughs> yes, people would always want more. But as I said, it helped for us to survive because there was no cash flow in tourism uh, for the last so many months. So there was no way that a company could have paid in, at least the interest even, not forget the capital. So it really helped and it helped people to manage their cash flows. But uh, now the problem would arise, what happens in two years, at least they've extended it till July next year. Hopefully they will extend it till November because that's when the proper season would start. But either way, two years of interest is, is quite a lot to handle. Uh, so I'm not, and then by that time, people will have to refurbish their properties because they're two years old. Uh, and you know, in, in tourism, you need to keep updating your property. You can't keep selling the old one. So there are a lot of things that have, needs to be done. All that would need capital. So people may need to borrow extra to update or uh, refurbish their properties. So it's, it's going to be a very big challenge. So it would be helpful if the government can give a write-off of the interest that has accrued. Obviously, the banks can't take the brunt either because the banks do, banks are yeah. using the depositors' money. So they have a responsibility towards yeah, to the, the depositors. Yeah. So hopefully, if the government can give a write-off or tax credit to the banks, then that would be the best. We do understand the government is also in, in dire straits. They also need revenue. But there are other ways for them to collect their tax revenues. Because it's known that Sri Lanka has the uh, smallest collection of tax revenue for the GDP. So, this uh, setting this off is not going to make a huge dent mm. anyway. So, they should then find make their systems efficient to increase the tax net or even within the tax net to collect the taxes.